From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode is brought to you by the audiobook Theodore the Great, Conservative Crusader by Daniel Ruddy, narrated by Darren Marlar. Hear a free sample on the audiobooks page at MarlarHouse.com. A study says millennials are more willing than others to marry someone in debt. Well, if you're wanting to marry someone college-educated, it's pretty safe to believe they're in debt. According to new polls, six out of ten voters in Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin say they feel embarrassed by Donald Trump's conduct as president. But then the same ratio is excited about voting for Kid Rock to be their governor of the state, so consider that for what it's worth. Being a pilot for a commercial airline certainly has its perks travel to exotic places, a cool uniform, and those breathtaking views of the sky. But the job can also come with a side of something much more sobering – depression. A new report says that nearly 13 percent of commercial airline pilots may be clinically depressed. So the next time you're boarding and your pilot asks, how are you today? Perhaps the more important question would be, no, how are you today? Apparently, 41 percent of men cry after watching in-flight movies. According to a new survey by Virgin Atlantic, that's the case for four out of ten men after they watch an in-flight movie. Scientists have confirmed that people in general do become more emotional while flying. One academic paper from George Mason University hypothesizes that an airplane cabin might be the perfect emotional landscape for tears. Bright lights, the fact that you're oftentimes rubbing shoulders with a total stranger next to you, and a deep connection with the movie showing up on a very small screen with ultra-personal audio. So now flying is emasculating men. Is there anything feminists won't destroy? A new survey finds that the Cheesecake Factory features America's unhealthiest restaurant food. Well, yeah, it's right there in the name – Cheesecake Factory! Americans are dying these days with an average of $62,000 in debt. So that's $62,000 they don't have to pay back? When? In a related story, a survey says one in ten Americans say they will die in debt, while others currently living in debt are praying for death's sweet release. North Korea is warning there could be a nuclear war if U.S. military drills turn to actual fighting. Look at North Korea trying to get our attention after we just plain forgot about them for the past week, week and a half. Scientists say walruses have returned early this year to America due to shrinking Arctic ice. Although I personally think they arrived early because they wanted to catch the solar eclipse, too. President Trump was getting some grief online this week for tweeting the word heel, spelled with two E's, when he should have typed heel, H-E-A-L. As in, with any luck, our nation will eventually heal following my presidency. Benjamin David was fed up with the stress of commuting on busy city roads. So he now packs his laptop, suit, and shoes into a waterproof bag, straps it to his back, and swims two kilometers to work along the Isar River in Munich, Germany. Depending on the season, he wears swimming trunks or a long wetsuit, as well as rubber sandals to protect his feet from glass or the occasional bicycle laying in the river. His commute sometimes invites laughs from bystanders on the bridges above but he says, hey, it's faster and more relaxing than sitting in traffic. Although I still do not understand why this guy doesn't just buy a canoe. The website OkCupid has a zero-tolerance policy for white supremacists and just kicked one off its site – permanently. A profile belonging to white nationalist leader Christopher Cantwell most recently featured in a Vice News documentary about the violence in Charlottesville last weekend was discovered on the dating site. After OkCupid's okay support team was alerted, it immediately banned him. Hey, you know, maybe he could get on at OkStupid. Okay a landlord entering a vacated apartment in Sweden found himself confronted with the strong smell of urine, horse excrement, and hay. It was later learned that a man evicted for failure to pay rent on his ground floor apartment had been living with a pony. Well, hey, you know what? The lease said no cats or dogs. It didn't say anything about horses. They say a lot of college graduates these days are really bad writers. Well, they probably should have gone to a gooder college. Would your teen voluntarily wear old-school mom jeans and a baggy dad shirt on the first day of school? Don't rule it out just yet. These days it's all about the retweets. 
The new trend on Twitter is having students leave their first day outfits in the hands of friends and even strangers. They're finding the wackiest things they'd be willing to wear, then posting it on the social networking site saying that they would wear it if they get a certain amount of retweets. You know, in my day, that would have been taped up glasses and high water pants with suspenders. I'm not sure any amount of retweeting would have gotten me into that getup, though. Study says wine tastes better to people when they think it's more expensive. And that's why I only buy the boxes with the really nice pictures on them. Adoption of voice assistants, such as Amazon Echo and Google Home, more than doubled from 2015 to 2016. A new report shows 56 percent of U.S. broadband households find it appealing to use voice assistants to control smart home devices. But they still won't get you a drink from the fridge, so they're pretty useless. The newest government report questions the value of financing the military's various musical bands. And let's face it, they haven't had a hit in years. Terrence Nafies of New Jersey got the ride of his life after paying the $1.50 toll to cross the Middle Thoroughfare Bridge with his wife, daughter, and daughter's friend in his Toyota RAV4. As he was crossing the steel grate, it began to rise three to six feet because a vessel was trying to cross. Nafies told reporters, my wife said, I think the bridge is opening. But terrified of dropping 65 feet into the water, he simply gunned the engine and was able to make it to the other side James Bond style, but with a big impact. Fortunately, nobody was hurt, but Nafies estimates that his SUV suffered about $10,000 in damages. Authorities said the operator of the bridge was to blame for the scare. That operator blamed Sun Glare. And now that we've just had that solar eclipse, how much you want to bet every single car accident in Midwest America is going to be blamed on that? In Florida, a state trooper tried to stop a car about a window tint violation. As the trooper followed, the driver tossed something from the window, which lodged in the trooper's car grill. When backup arrived, they were able to stop the car. That's when they discovered the thing that got stuck in the trooper's grill was a bag of marijuana. When they frisked the driver of the car, they found another bag of marijuana sticking out of his rear end. Also, an open beer was in the center console. You know, the only way this could have been worse is if the guy was also not wearing a seatbelt. What? Huh? <laughs> really? <laughs> Seriously? Okay, it turns out he wasn't wearing a seatbelt either. Forget about hallucinations if you want to start seeing and hearing things. Just drink lots of coffee. Researchers studied 200 students and found that those who drank seven cups of coffee a day, they were three times more likely to see ghosts, things that were not there, also hear voices than those who just had one cup of coffee. The scientists at England's University of Durham believe the caffeine in coffee triggers the release of the hormone cortisol, which is also released by stress, and that may lead to hallucinations. But study head Simon James also noted that stressed people may simply drink more coffee, and that could cause them to see people and things that are not there. The scientists noted that caffeine is also present in tea, energy drinks, and chocolate. So, dear Maxwell House, I see dead people. If you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social media to help get the word out. If you'd like to become an official weirdo, click that subscribe button and notification bell. And while you're at it, click that like button to let the world know that you're a weirdo.